remove this intruder. Oh wow, what a baby. Can't join this intruder, man. We gotta kick your ass right there on the spot. This area is off limits. Combatants only. Never mind then. You wanna talk? Enter the proving. I speak with my blades. Oh, spine. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. I have your letters right here. Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. Then you'll find the proving? I will be glad to fight for Harrimont in the provings. Thank you again, friend. Good. This deal was all their making, Warden. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. You don't care who gets the Shaper Tome from? I have a collector in mind. Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. I should shut you down hard. Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. Greetings, Maldron of the Grey Wardens. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. What are the Silent Sisters? They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The woman who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. Mm. Who are you? I am Ferindin. I serve as Hanashan's trainer and translator. As a silent sister, Hanashan cut out her tongue like the ancient paragon, Astith the Grey. As you might imagine, she requires my services for more mundane tasks. I should get going. Ancestors guide you. Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Informal? You mean illegal? Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. None of my interest. Goodbye. I trust you'll keep the offer to yourself. No, I tell everybody.
You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. I'm fighting the champion Lord Harrowmont. Far be it from me to tell you your business, but you might want to take a closer look before you jump into local politics. Were I you, I'd follow my example. Resign and let Harrowmont fight his own battles. I'm Guidon, by the way. It's been a pleasure. Dulin Ferender asked me to talk to you. I bet he did. That man thinks nothing is beneath him. Well, you could just tell him I had my reasons. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. That's ridiculous. Harriman isn't conceding. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Doolin, and I'm rallying honorable fighters for Harrowmont. I, uh, I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Get back into proving and knock some heads? Maybe I will at that. Yeah. Alright, now it's time for me to throw in my own hat in the ring. The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? I'd like to fight as Lord Harrowmont's champion. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? I am older into the Grey Wardens. We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. <laughs> we actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Ready and eager. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. What are you waiting for? I want to fight. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwan of the warrior caste. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of 12 by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balin. Opposing him in Lord Harrowmont's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Ijukan and our future King Balin, You honor me with this fight. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Of course. As you desire. Yeah, he just got cut down. It wasn't even much of a fight. We're done here. I beat him. The winner is the Grey Warden. That was an exciting start, Warden. Sawern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Yes. Excellent. Let us go. I don't even need questions answered. I don't even know what the fight's about. This is a glory proving. 
fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior casts twin terrors, now fighting for Prince Balin, Miaja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you. You fall. Lord Harriman. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Oh, I'm gonna focus on your brother instead. Taking all comers, come at me. Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next yes. opponent? Excellent. Let us go. It's fine. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far, but how will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proves her worth to Paragon Astith the Grey by cutting out her own That's tongue. That's unfortunate. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. Good luck to you. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! All right. And just stay here for a little bit as a way to get for you to go ahead and announce that I won. The winner is the Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your yep. next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack Ivo and Balans. In support of Haramont, I choose Basil as my as Basil as my second. You honor me. Last one standing will be declared victor. Oh, Totally should have fought that by myself and looked like a badass. Jack Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Paramount picked wisely. Are you ready for your yep. next opponent? Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. 
fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain, fighting for his royal cousin Balin, the Oten Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Harriman, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questioned. The throne will never leave House Iduken. Basil, women, join me for this triumph. You honor me. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Of course. <laughs> Oh nice, he's just a henchman. Not even of any real work. Why are you just standing there watching the fight? What's wrong with you? Oh, I should knock him over first. Shanigans. He's just standing there, it's like he's watching. He's rallying, you know, with moral support. Oh, it's done. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. I wasn't even paying attention to my health. Whoopsies. That would suck. I've been really embarrassing too. I'm missing. I'm missing. There we go. You're a lot out there. Basil, Beasel, whatever your name is, it doesn't matter. You're useless! The winner is the Grey Warden! Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of My Army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. It was an honor. Through this day, we affirm the friendship between our city and your order. Yeah. Can I get out of here? It's mine again. I just have to head to the assembly real quick, get the key to the city. For what? For suggesting that the system was gullible for believing in things which were not real. Oh, that! I'd already forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. I suppose it would offer some comfort 
to believe that things occur according to some grand purpose. All those years I spent in Honleaf, unable to move, it would be comforting to think there was some reason for it. Do you know there wasn't? Perhaps the Maker did it to bring you here, to us. You once said that you had no purpose. Perhaps you are simply looking for it in the wrong place. Perhaps. I shall think on this. Have you seen my lunch? It is a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and shredded dried meat. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Let me see your wares. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I work the arm of myself. <laughs> Nothing to sell. Nothing of real value, at least. No, I want the tome. Give me the tome. Oh well. did somehow go? I think I was it doing 50? No, I think it was always like in the 40s. Lord Balin's suspected. Yeah, I don't care you criers. Legion of the Dead Warriors. Yes. Hell yeah, I want that. Mm. Oh, it's gotta be a warrior rogue. Okay, well then you can have it. Key to the city is a really good, somehow a ring <laughs> to have. News of the hour. Oh, I am so. Screw you, buddy. News of the hour. Back to the commons. I need more money. Don't think I always have so little money. I sure off with like 374 gold and somehow down to only like 20. Shows you how easy it is to blow off your cash in this. For all like necessary things and good things to have, but still, it's holy crap. champion. I hear your performance in the Proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Harrowmont will see you now. Excellent. Lead the way. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. Crap. 
Crushing Prison has always been a really good spell. I think it's uh, Morgan who I end up always having her learn that. Just kind of freezes them in place and does damage over time. Really good thing to have. It would have been really awesome to see Grey Wardens fly on Griffins. Still can't even do that. I appreciate what you have done, Warden, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harrow. And I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. I respect King Endrin's wishes. Then it is truly refreshing to talk with you. Even had you not aided me, I would be honor-bound to present your treaty to the Assembly. But I'm afraid with no king, they will not act. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? The game Castless? Yes. Oh, here you go. I take them out and take the credit. Is that the plan? I'm glad you're so eager. If you help me shut her down, we can show the Assembly I am the right king to defend Orzammar. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town. The raw edges of the city, where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. I'll deal with Jarvia. Be ready to help against the Blight. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Jarvia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. Back to Dust Town. Nope, wrong way. I'm doing it. Oh, I'm back up here again. Damn it. If I want to know that, I just want to went to uh, Tapster's first. Oh, thugs. If I see another arrow mark, I'll fucker the warden. Bailey will not allow it. What up? Messing with the wrong person.
Time to clean up the lower streets. Speak to her again. Didn't get enough of the architectural beauty of Dust Town? You need old Nadezda to play tour guide? Do you know a woman named Jarvia? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago. And already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Where can I find her? Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Where do I find one of these tokens? Can't help you there, Sal Rocca. The Carta members keep them real tight. But that's worth something, right? Maybe just a little. I'll give you ten silver. Take care of yourself. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Hmm. Sit up. Slum's house again. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Good! <laughs> <clears throat> I'll take your finger bone token and use it to get in. Ancestors, what do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. Tell me where your base is. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Yes, and you won't want to be at Jarvia's when I get there. Really? Oh, thank you. You're a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. No, I should have killed him. Sometimes it's not worth showing mercy. No, I, I don't believe in that. <laughs> this door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there's a small slot concealed in the fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Put finger bone token in the slot. The door unlocks. Time to go mess up some card members. I gotta get wind and start making some really good potions. I definitely need some better than lesser. Although, I mean, I've been pretty much floating around 42. So it's not like I've been using too many health potions, though. So I guess it's not all bad. The stronger stuff would just be good to have around, just in case, you know? Hey guys. What's the password? Uh oh. Looks like we have a martyr, boys. Couldn't we all just get off? How is I supposed to know the password? <laughs> Oh, 
I should have been a smart ass to Jarvia sucks lizard eggs. That'd have been funny. Your races, uh, the race that you choose, as well as the class that you choose, is going to have different identifiers that are going to have different effects as far as the uh, 